2015 terrorist Abdullak Anzorov, who beheaded French teacher Samuel Paty last week, was in contact with at least one jihadist in Syria before his attack. Anzorov, who was shot dead after his attack, had communicated with a Russian-speaking jihadist from northwest Syria over INS Tiagram, according to agents from the French General Directorate for Internal Security, DGSI. The jihadist was located by his Internet Protocol, IP, address and investigators believe that he is located in Idlib province, which has served as a haven for Islamic radicals belonging to groups like Al-Qaeda and Islamic State, L.E. Figaro reports. Investigators, who have yet to identify the jihadist, claim Anzorov spoke about martyrdom, Islamic theology and possibly moving to a Muslim country. The 18-year-old Chechen refugee also expressed a willingness to fight. The conversations took place between September 12 and 14. Following the murder of Samuel Patti, Anzorov took a picture of his victim's head on the street and not only published it on Twitter but sent the photo through a private message on INS Tiagram to the Syrian jihadist, who replied Allahu Akbar. It has also been revealed that Anzorov had been in communication with one of the fathers of a pupil who attended Paty's school. The father, Brahim Chnina, had organized a social media campaign against the teacher after he had shown his class cartoons of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. Chnina is alleged to have used WhatsApp to communicate with the teen terrorist. French police have since arrested the father, along with a well-known Islamist named Abdel Hakim's Friwi. In response to the murder of Patty, the French government has shut down Islamist groups such as the controversial collective against Islamophobia in France, CCIF, which had received cash from Hungarian-American left-wing billionaire George Soros's Open Society Foundations in the past.